Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem one in chapter six. In this chapter, we will talk about gravitation force. And there we can see we have Earth, and then above the Earth, three times of the radius, uh, we have another spacecraft. And then we know this is R. If this is R, this is three times R. Do you agree? So the radius for this uh, spacecraft is three R. Agree. So this is the first point we need to take care. Now we need to find its force. So in this one, it looks like we need to find this uh, gravitation force, right? So first one we see on the surface of the Earth, the gravitation force equals mass on the surface of the Earth times the g, 9.8 meter per second square. And this object, small m, is just on the surface of the Earth. So we can get the equation. This g is just equal to this uh, um, 9.8 meter per second square equal to capital G times m mass of the Earth divided by r square. r square is the radius of the Earth. So this is the object on the surface, the g, right? The next time, if we consider the object is there, this uh, radius becomes three times of the r. So we can find that this g and this uh, space is just uh, one ninth of the earth. Do you agree? Yes, so we can consider this equation. This equation becomes the g space uh, divided by g earth, so it's uh, one ninth of the uh, gravity on the earth. The next one, we need to find the force of the earth's gravity. Right, the, the next one. So the next one, we need to find this force. So this force at the space. So we can say this force at the space, just as the mass times the gravity at the space, agree? And this is mass times acceleration we did in the uh, multiple times for Newton's second law. And then this gravity at the space, just uh, one ninth of the g at the earth. See? If this one, we can do this calculation and we find this one and we input the mass of the uh, mass of this spacecraft and this g on the earth, 9.8 meter per second square, we get the final answer. So in this problem, you can see you only know the radius relationships and the mass for the object. You need to find its gravitational force. It looks like it's not easy for you to do this equation, right? Because if you want to do this equation, first thing you need to know the constant of the capital G and the mass of the Earth. Uh, it didn't tell you, so it's not easy way to get it directly from this equation. So the next thing is we need to consider the object on the surface, right? On the Earth. And then you know this g is a constant, 9.8 meter per second square. And then you, you use this g to get the gravitational force. Thank you.